I feel like we need uh, a place where the voice is clear. So we will have to later on when he starts. Yeah, that's very important. letter to the viewers, participants and cultural workers of Documenta 14. To all Documenta 14 viewers, participants and cultural workers, we call for your attention in the immediate moment of learning from Athens. We are the people who inhabit the city and we are talking to you as our guests. Your jostling bodies crowd the streets of Athens, your mouths are speaking of our hardship, your feet are holding the pavements, but this is not enough. This is a time for carving out a space for all, not a time of culturally archiving crisis. Now is a time of action, not blind consumption. We ask you to redirect your lips into the shadows and the blackouts away from the feast the mayor of Athens has staged for you. You say you want to learn from Athens. Well, first open your eyes to the city and listen to the streets. 
one of your lam laments in the discourse of illegitimate bodies. At the same time, by staying silent, he is assisting the eradication of spaces for thousands of bodies who inhabit this city in autonomous units. These squatted houses are under constant threat. Daily, we are told we will be evicted through violent means, not only jeopardizing our basic human needs, but our support networks, spaces of autonomy and unified cultural practices. In these buildings, artists and activists coexist together with thousands of refugees who have come here from war-torn countries to seek new lives with dignity and freedom. The silence of Documenta is not acceptable and only goes further to accommodate Mayor Kaminis, the state, the church and the NGOs who stand against us and force thousands into segregated concentration camps, prepared and ready for the very bodies your director says he is trying to protect. This violent act is dividing the legitimate bodies from the illegitimate, illegitimate ones by state force and Documenta has far been silent. The precursor events of Documenta 14, entitled The Parliament of Bodies, spoke of the voices of resistance, transgender voices, the voices of the minority. Well, we are those voices, and we are genderless, we are migrants, and we are modern parians. We are the dissidents of the regime, and we are here. We walk with you, we treat the parallel streets, but you don't see us. You have your eyes trained on the blue dotted lines of your Google map. You have been programmed and directed not to see us, to just miss us, reverse and avoid us. Our culture has been censored from you. We ask you to recalibrate your devices, we ask you to get lost, to hack your automation and rewire your cultural viewpoint. In the run-up to all those budget airlines hitting the tarmac, we have confronted some serious battles. Only three weeks ago, at dawn, on the 13th of March 2017, the state evicted the social space Villa Zografo. They simultaneously raided Al Kibiabu refugee squad and arrested 120 refugees only to release them out into the cold, homeless, and without their belongings in the streets at midnight. This is not an isolated incident of oppression. Last summer in Thessaloniki, people faced a violent eviction of bulldozing of refugee homes. In Lesbos, the no-border kitchen camp was destroyed, among others. Immediately after these barbaric evictions and abuses, Mayor Kaminis stated that the occupation of municipality-owned buildings by migrants is a degradating city, de de degradating the city. The same mayor stood before you on April 6th, presenting the poem over the presiding the poem over the Documenta press conference. The Greek government today threatens to destroy anyone who seeks grassroots, grassroots solidarity, self-organization, and to build spaces for the new beginnings. Over 2,000 refugees serve these spaces with artists and others and form communities. This aggressive cleansing will not stop. We are under threat of losing all autonomous houses by the summer of 2017. These houses are our culture, our homes and our structures. The mayor of Athens calls them ghettos, but what is a man ghetto is thousands of people's home and site of social expression and interaction. We are asking you to first seek Athens and then learn from us. By participating blindly, you are supporting the golden ghettization of our neighborhoods, the eviction of our communities and the systems of patriarchy that stand on our fingers as we try to build our own self-sustainable architectures. Consider your participation and role in events that implicitly lend cover and legitimacy to the mayor and state's actions. You are condoning the war on grassroots initiatives for all if you ignore, ignore our call. We call for your support and solidarity to close the camps, not the squads, solidarity to all squads, Against the agreement of EU Turkey saying, open the borders. 8th of April 2017, artists against evictions.
We are filming here. Why? <coughs> it's written outside. I read it outside. Das ist dort Government Organization. No, Government Organization. Stand against us. Also, schmeißen Leute raus, bauen die Häuser mit Gewalt. Diese, ähm, die man dabei mit Act, diese Aggression, Trend, ähm, Legitimate Bodies, also Einwohner, die gezeigt werden, ähm, mit Ja, 
I think people are still waiting for us to do something. Yeah, yeah. And I think that reading that text in the beginning didn't make much difference. I think those people over there are speaking about it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think everybody speaks about it, but with their friends. Yeah. And yeah. they don't feel like sharing something with the rest. So, except from the people that send the email. Yeah, probably the most common negative. But see, uh, I think we should ask them to be divided from their friends and see if this makes any difference in the sense of sharing. May I say something? Mm -hmm. I think the performances expect to be performances where there are particular rules, where there is an audience that watches somebody, and when that doesn't happen, uh, 
uh, you are thrown out of the rules and you don't know what's happening anymore. So I think that people would share if they felt that this was the kind of framework you would really share. But because you don't expect that to happen, because there's a particular way that the performance function runs, that's why people don't share. I understand. But were you here from the beginning? No, I came at the end of the speech. Yeah, because just the case is that uh, somebody read something that was a call for everybody that um, is part of the document, as a viewer, as a cultur cultural worker, as whatever, what I say. Yeah. Yes, as a participant. And uh, okay, um, whatever the text said, the, the people that were here from the beginning and they listened to it, uh, it tried to put some questions and to them, to us, to everybody in this room. So I am just curious why nobody tries to answer them. Apparently that's because there is a particular procedure of things that we are used to and you know <coughs> yeah you totally can, totally yes if you, if you were standing in the middle of a park you don't address <coughs> for example because you know that this is not appropriate mm -hmm. and that people would look at you strangely so i think this is probably what people are the way they are because you're you're being quiet when you're in the audience and you don't speak loud mm -hmm. also because the text almost asks you to reflect yes and so it, it, the text, asks, the text asks you to reflect on your complicity within, you know, as a as a sort of visitor to the city, mm -hmm. as the user of the discount airliner to come in and follow the blue dots, which I arguably have been doing. Um, and I would say I don't know my reading of it, which I saw circulated online today. So I'm really curious about that. You don't I'm sure you I saw it circulating online today as well. Mm -hmm. Um, seemed to be more about a reflective gesture rather than a demand to uh, speak to it in a direct way. So that's yeah. why I read it as a, as a moment of sort of contemplation, let's say, which doesn't mean that people aren't engaging, but they're engaging in, let's say, nonverbal or just... But still, even if it is about reflecting mm -hmm. and listening to what is going on in Greece, we are at least for young people that live in Athens, mm -hmm. then we have, so you could just ask us. I mean, if you want to reflect and you don't want to talk about the text, we, you could just ask us, how is it, uh, I don't know, are living you, in Athens? Are you disappointed that nobody has said anything yet? Me personally? No, no, there's... Uh, I mean, it's it's not very about disappointing. I, I understand it, I understand that this is the context of a performance, so yes, uh, it is a problem, but okay, we have uh, spent some time, uh, you know, working this through, talking to our friends next to us, so now we have still some time and we can set different rules, like talking all together. So what is your position about the text? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think I will tell you later. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to uh, address so much the conversation. First point to check, uh, we just didn't understand the text, so it was a bit hard to understand. Mm -hmm. Did everyone get the text right? Did, do you know what it said? Yeah, we agree with this as well. We know, we know what the text was about because we live here in this city. Okay. Uh, but the, the question is, why do we have only uh, 20 minutes more? I mean, you could stay here for hours. Because <laughs> 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 so there are many, yeah, there are many things we could discuss about. Uh, what it is living in Athens. You know, where so, where so many people are uh, live, live in the streets, are evicted, or um, people see their wages uh, being cut down, people see their pensions cut down, especially for people like you coming from other other countries, could be very interesting. Maybe you would be very interested to know what is going on here. 
there are many things we could talk about. <laughs> I, think, I think one of the things to address here though uh, is there seems to me also a sort of um, violence as well to like ask, I mean, you know, why would you need to respond to me if I ask you how you would like to live in Africa? I mean, you could also just be like, I don't want to talk about it or something. So to me, there's also, a, there has to be a moment of intimacy between us before I would just approach any person living in Athens. I mean, it's, it's also their right to be totally indifferent to, to my question, um, even if I'm curious. So I think that there needs to be this intimacy before I would just, you know, start uh, this inquiry somehow. Um, yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm definitely curious. <laughs> I understand, I understand. I'm not accusing you of something. Actually, the text was a little bit uh, <laughs> accusing people for not being, um, for not, yes, being open to the city and to its people. And I, I just felt that an answer should be given. And yeah, this, I, I mean, Maybe you want to talk about it without anyone asking you. I mean, I think that a lot of people would probably be interested. <laughs> Not sure. Is there something you would like us to know? Yeah. Us as outsiders. Is there something that you would like us to know? Uh, for example, the this thing that um, the text puts was about addictions, about uh, refugees, occupations being. Uh, evacuated from the police. Uh, I don't know. Isn't it, <laughs> it? Is it something you have heard of? Yeah. And this happens while Documenta has occupied the structures, like uh, central structures from the city. How was this text written? We don't know. How? You don't know. You don't know. No. It was just there. Uh, I think somebody, yeah, somebody found it, it found it, it on the internet. No. Yeah, so yeah, I was looking at our friends sent me the link, and so I was checking who signed it, and it's just artists against evictions. Yeah. So it's not like the same artist who wrote it, for instance. And maybe this subject would be the same. Yes. Some visibility on, on this eviction issue and to basically to put pressure on the mayor. You can see that there is the political issue is right now with the mayor that, that doing bullshit with the 
preservation, no? That's taking this invisible like decision to, to keep some squat away or like some, some camp. And I don't know, but I'm just wondering like how much uh, uh, I don't know, we were just mentioning like the possibility of like a petition or like Municipality, I mean, is it, I mean uh, do you want to put pressure on the municipality or, 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 or like is it the stand that there is actually no, uh, like what, what kind of pressure can be put on the municipality? Is it uh, by occupying more spaces? Is it like, like, let's say, like an administrative pressure if you, you are ready to put on it or you just don't want to even uh, speak to the municipality? <laughs> I just don't understand why you ask you ask us. It's like you're addressing the question to someone else. Why don't we wonder? What you don't understand why we ask you? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? <laughs> we didn't uh, we didn't write the text. The text was addressed to us as much as to you too. Would you rather he ask somebody else? I mean, actually, we all talk. Yeah. So if he asks you, he can also ask someone else, and that person can ask, "Why are you asking me?" It doesn't matter, is it? I mean. Yeah, it feels more like an interview rather than a talk. That's why we're 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 saying that. This why are, do you ask us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that goes back to the structure, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. There is also when you. How much time that will it be needed to to go further from the structure? <laughs> there always wants to be a structure. I mean, you know, it's. it's okay, let's to change the structure. There is also a structure to the to people talking together about. Something, so let's adopt this structure if we can. <laughs> Do you not think that you, as artists creating the, the space, uh, naturally leaves a small hierarchy where people look to you for answers or, or the vision that? that brought this idea to us. Is that small hierarchy inevitable? I don't even see it as a hierarchy. It's more like a, like a role that you play. I mean, everybody plays a role. Wherever you go, you have a role. If you're in the piano, you have a role. If you are in the audience, you have a role. If you're half an artist, you have a role. But without a role, you wouldn't be recognized for it from anybody for anything. I mean, you have to adopt some kind of a role. You have a name, you know, you have a nationality, and so people look at you as a body. And uh, otherwise, 
very hard to find. Yeah. I mean, there's also people who don't speak or don't accept any kind of role, but it's very hard to communicate with them. Because you have a standard of um, common, like a common agreement on reality and, and what makes cancel all the roles, you're just left in the space where something can emerge. And, you know, we can all have a party and dance and some of the music. <laughs> and some of those roles that you address are can be quite effective, especially the ones that people can't choose. What's that? I think some of the some of the roles that you mentioned in terms of like being able to get like using these definitions as ways to better understand somebody's role or position can be quite oppressive, especially the ones that one may not decide. And they're not unilaterally um, gazed upon with the same parity. You know, there's, there's no equality in that gaze from these different categories. So that's why we have the issue with uh, <laughs> framing the necessity of those rules. I think you know, many times the battle is to undo precisely those categories, or at least the non-creation of those categories. Yep. In terms of how the rules are received, right? Because they're given, but they're also received. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, it's also all the big choices we accept the world in our hands. We can also say, you know, I'm gay for now, but I'm gay for somebody else. Or some of them, yes, some of them you can't. You can't change the color of your skin, so to speak. Um, yeah, but it's also, you know, people perceive you also according to your actions and according to your own perception of yourself and of others. I think, you know, in, like, like, like when you go out with a bad mood, mm -hmm. oftentimes you get a bad back. Sure. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's like, in, in, it's, in, it's a process that, uh, that's not, it's never one-sided, you know? I mean, I think that we're probably saying the same thing. Um, I would say, I mean, <laughs> I would say it's a little bit more complicated than that. I agree with you. If you go with a bad mood, you're just going to get a shitty day. There's some people who are great with it, and you know, their uh, ethnicity or gender or what have you will always get an emotional or a potentially threatening response. And those sort of normative structures are yeah. So the presence of documenta here is a normative structure? Hmm? <laughs> so the presence of documenta in Athens is a normative structure? Uh, I would say so. What is a normative structure? What is a normative structure? What is the name? Sorry. Written by artists who participate here. In their uh, we don't know. We just we said that. Either. Yeah, there are artists against eviction. Right, but uh, it was just sent to the internet. Yeah, on if looks. Okay. Right. What do you mean by normative structure exactly? I mean, do you mean it's 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 a it's a role structure or what? Kind of role structure? I don't know. You mentioned it. I thought it was part of the... What I got from that, it was like that... Uh, it doesn't challenge... It doesn't challenge the... The, 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 the um, power structures. It doesn't challenge anything. So you're supposed to have a political exhibition, but it's not political at all if it doesn't challenge the power structures. And not only the power structures are not challenged, but even so, as we read in the letter, uh, the opposite happens. Yeah. So they're, they're using this excuse for gentrification and while the gentrification is happening in the, in the city center, at the same time, autonomous occupations and squads are closing. Mm -hmm. So I guess, is that what you want to be part of? 
is that something you will feel proud that person is to be part of and what we can do all together about that. inside of Documenta that we don't know about, so there were people that didn't get permissions to come here because they're coming from countries that normally they can't, there are people that they were not in history, that now they are. Is that a way of challenging or not? Okay, yeah, I can accept that as an argument. Uh, I think <laughs> it's fair enough. presents in the works and what it does and it, my, I hope anyway that and I think that probably this will be thrown a little more light upon you know because people start yeah, discussing like, but it will be thrown a little more light upon because people start discussing and there are a lot of critical responses you know and um, people start thinking you know why is it like this. Okay, so I wanted to say something. Uh, first of all, the evacuation of the squads is uh, politically a very crucial gesture because the, the, the refugees that are staying in the squads are, um, after the evacuation of them, are sent to camps and camps are like uh, okay, in the camps, the, the like conditions camps. of living for the refugees are really, really horrible. Uh, they have spent the whole winter with snow and stuff like that uh, in tents, and there were like children born in there um, and living. And, and in the squads, there are some people from some people, leftist people, or I don't know, people that. Uh, have a respect for human beings and they produce, they, they, they try to work with the refugees to, to, to keep a human, you know, like dignity, dignity has conditions of living for them. And actually, uh, there are some squads in the center that uh, also bring people live there with the refugees. And there have been some riots um, about it, and there is a, a big, a very interesting political uh, movement. What's going on here in Greece? And I, I agree with the text that it is a pity to come uh, to Greece in this context and not uh, understand it or not being part of it. Or it eventually, just, produce the opposite result. Yeah. Um, but I, I, disagree, I, have, I, I understand why it is difficult to find common ground to talk about. I mean, I understand that the text doesn't give, you know, like an appointment to say to people, go there, talk about that, do, do this, do that. It just says, do something, fill the city. I understand the, the complexity of this and, I, and, and from the time we spent silent in here and I, was sitting silent too. I understood that there are many things to divide people and there are many things that have to come together so people can share something. And actually this is part of what we're doing. So I mean, so yeah, I understand why nobody was speaking in the first place, but yeah, uh, I mean, you, you don't know what's happening in the squads Maybe most of you don't. I mean, uh, you have come here to see an exhibition, to see a performance. It's totally understandable. But how many things should, you know, in the in the first minute, somebody put a question? How many conditions should, you know, be real in order for us to try to answer this question, just to have a conversation? Why is it so difficult? 
Oh, it is. <laughs> it's totally moral. What you talk about? Sorry. It's totally moral. It's like. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, my English is not really good. Moral. You, immoral. Immoral. No, moral. You, moral. you make a lesson. Now, please, we are not baby. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, no, but it is. Well, I was just saying what I was feeling today, but you can uh, share it some. No, not share, say if you like. Yes, I say that. Why do you don't talk? Okay, it's. Uh, oh, sorry. Your, your, your place is not really. How oh, can I explain? Uh, it's not really clear. Oh, you My are. Space. It was a reading of the situation. Thank what you. Happened? I understand. But I think <laughs> why, that. Why does it make you angry though? Because I think that uh, just what you, you talk at the end, it's really like. Uh, you you can't do that. You don't do that. You and you say, I, I said oh, it's, it's yes, totally said. understandable no, for no. me. And even if I was, uh, I mean, yeah, I that was me. I was just thinking of my No, no. I'm alone. It's not this thing. <laughs> don't you exactly understand <laughs> what? I don't exactly understand your point. No, but just you don't understand. What no, I, can no, you no, say no, it again? Can I don't understand yeah. what you mean? Say it again. I understand. I ask you. <laughs> yes, you understand? understand. Perhaps you can explain it better than me. Yeah, I understand. Um, she says, and, she, and maybe she's right, uh, that the way I was speaking before, it's very um, didactical. Yes. Didactical. To be a teacher, but this was not my, I'm sure my point. But see, I was just, I had some thoughts during this hour and I just wanted to share it. But you, you can do it too. I mean, if you have something more uh, useful to say. Um, oh, you see this? Yeah, I was it. 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 I Today is the result of this experience when I were here together. Uh, so the process is 